Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! Episode 108. So tonight we are reviewing Suicide Squad! Holy shit! Holy shit balls, Batman. <laughs> this movie is terrible. I just want to say up front. Yeah. This movie is the literal definition of a clusterfuck. <laughs> Yes. In every sense of that word. Yes. This movie is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, okay, so everybody knows at this point. Right. It's that, pretty... like the director's edit was taken away from him and Warner Brothers was like, nah, we're gonna give it to the trailer company that edited the trailer because they know how to edit a feature length film. <gasps> Oh, mistakes were made! Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god. So that happened. Yeah. It is very evident while watching the film. <laughs> the movie is... a series of introductions that last about a half an hour. <laughs> yeah. And then, it's the third act! <laughs> the introductions were just... Well, so, uh, okay, so first it introduces Will Smith, who's dead shot. Then it introduces Margot Robbie, who's yep. Harley Quinn. Yep. Then mm -hmm. it introduces Will Smith, who's Deadshot. And then it introduces <laughs> Harley Quinn. And then it proceeds to introduce <laughs> Killer Croc, Boomerang, blah blah blah, of Katana. Um, it was so weird. So like basically, more. it starts off with these <laughs> long Diablo. scenes. <laughs> It starts off and it's a series of TV spots. Yes. Every other, it's like introducing Hattie Quinn. Like you're watching like ABC Family and then you know it's like a crossover event. It's like Margot Robbie's like, check out my new movie Suicide Squad. And then it's like an introduction of her character. And you're like, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is a movie. movie. <laughs> What's going on? But then. What's so, happening? So then they introduce um, who's like the main. Viola Davis. So much to keep track of. There was a lot to keep track of, and none of it really mattered. There was the Enchantress. There was Rick Flag. Yeah, so then they introduce Viola Davis. Yeah, who then introduces all of the other people. this weird VO. Well, also it was like, it's like it was also happy. like a trailer. I mean, it was just it's like the like, trailer where they're like, here's Viola Davis's VO about like how she's assembled this suicide squad of people. And then it's like, here she is in this restaurant finishing her conversation. They that cut was... back to her eating steak. Like, meanwhile, <laughs> she's constantly like, so anyway, kill a croc, it's this person, and she's chewing on steak the whole time. And I was like, why this? That was a choice, April. She is, Why this? She is a carnivore. Oh my god, you're right! She that's eats so, her steak that's rare. so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> you're right, though. That's what they went for. That was, that was crazy, though. So she's, like, devouring them. <laughs> oh. So a lot could be said. So I was like... I went into this movie like, oh, I feel so bad for David Ayers, the director, because I was like, he's like done stuff, and he's like, Hadley. yeah, he did like End of Watch and another cop training. He wrote Training Day. I want to, oh, I want to wow. say and he's like done stuff. Stuff. Okay. And I was like, oh, I feel bad for you. And then I saw the movie, and I was like, sure, this edit is a disaster, but there are choices made in this <laughs> film that would have been bad in any edit, so you don't get off scot. Free. No. Um, <laughs> I'm jumping ahead, but I just can't contain myself. Okay. Um, can we talk about when this movie turned into Gods of Egypt? <laughs> okay, because, like, this movie is Gods of Egypt. <laughs> we can't talk about it yet. <laughs> can we? I don't care. We have to. <laughs> but, but it's so complicated. It's so complicated. Oh, right. So they're introducing everyone, and it's like everyone's cell is a different Pandora station. So, like... <laughs> 
This movie also had that problem of like every song that's ever been popular in a trailer is in this movie. Yes. And it was like, cut to next music cue. But it also had the same problem that bad trailer companies have. Yeah. Where the music that they pick is like super on the nose. Oh, yeah. So it was like, here she is like walking down the street about to introduce everyone. And the song is literally saying, allow me to introduce, introduce myself. myself. Yeah, it's the Rolling Stones. And you're like, oh boy. It was the trailer company like, the only way to save this movie is a montage of music. We got it. Like, you have to give us three million dollars. I don't know. And it's like, no, that's not how you fucking make a soundtrack. No, it was very lazy. They needed to like... You can't just type in crocodile because he's a crocodile. Like, that's Start not... playing crocodile rock. Now <laughs> that I would have been okay with. <laughs> Because that would have been amazing. Can you imagine? Elton yes! Elton it's John really. is like, pops out of nowhere. His feathers. Oh, it would have been so funny. <laughs> would have been funnier than this movie. Oh my god, I laughed a lot at this movie. I laughed a lot at it. Yeah. <laughs> at this movie. I laughed a couple times. We can, although we can like delve in. So... Margot Robbie plays Harley Quinn, which mm -hmm. was the only character I knew prior to going into this movie. And my only knowledge of her is from like the 90s Batman and her being like, Mr. J. Are you gonna kill me, Mr. J? Well, I didn't know anybody else. So I went in and at first I was like, oh, she's kind of the best part of this movie right now because she's the only one in the movie that's happening. <laughs> yes. Which is concerning in many regards. Yeah. But she was like having fun and she mm -hmm. was silly. Mm -hmm. Um, and then towards the middle, it was like, oh, you are one note. Yeah. That's it. You yeah. are just like, I'm crazy and sexy. And like, oh, I did this cra It was like a 14-year-old boy wrote her. Hey, guys. Yes. And then she kicks his ass. And then she's like, what? <laughs> what, I did it. What, my booty shirt? I'm like, oh, oh. my butt fell out. Like, it was just like, well, okay. You know, it was like that <laughs> stuff, you know? And so it started to get really draining by the end. I was like, oh, now I really don't. And then, well, then it just falls apart because I didn't know what happened. <laughs> what? Well, we could die. Oh, my God. We could, okay. There's too much to talk <laughs> should about. Should we get there? Should we just do her line now? Like, her storyline now? Or do we want do to, we like... Do we do her thing? Do we want to just do it all oh, chronologically? Jesus I mean, I guess I, I now understand why the editing was such a mess because they're like, how do we... How do we address all of these things? Who's the main character? I don't know. Well, Viola Davis? Yeah. Who's the main character? Well, the problem is Viola Davis plays a stone cold cunt. That is just a mean lady. So what I heard was that, and this is what like everyone always says, but like the director said it was grittier and like gnarly, mm. and then the studio was like, no, you have to make punch it up and make it silly. So like she was in, I think, more what the movie was supposed to be. Sure. It really it caught scary. me off guard when she was just really evil. Very jarring tonal shifts. Yeah. And then ever and then and then Margot Robbie's like, oh, what? I have my bat, and I just like <laughs> killed this person. And you're like, oh, so we're back in this now. Like, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't play like milkshakes as she was like smashing them with her bat. Man, looks I think. Can you see that happening? I could. And like slow motion and then fast. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. she's just like, oh, what? Well, so this whole thing started because I had forgotten, like even though we saw Batman versus Superman, I, I was like, when they were like, oh, Superman's dead, I was like, what? I was, oh, right! I, then, I had the same reaction. That happened, I forgot about that. So, but isn't he like not dead? He's not dead, but like in the world they think as he's it dead. is, he does not come back. He has not he's, risen right. again. Sure. He's not Jesus yet. Mm. He's just close to Jesus. So then, but Batman shows up. Oh, <laughs> literally, I was like, who's this? Oh my god, they got Ben Affleck? <laughs> like, I was shocked. I think it was just contractual and like his, when he signed oh, up. Had to be. I mean, he was certainly phoning it in. I will say this. Yeah. I really liked what's his face as the Joker. No, really? let me let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Jared Leto yeah. uh, did this weird thing for me where I was simultaneously super into it and 100% repulsed by it. <laughs> well, I was like my first reaction was, "Oh, this is creepy, but way too much." He was Johnny Depping it. I can't wait to show you my 
toys. Sure, but like... He was Johnny Depp. But like... He was. But like, isn't that... Like he was. But like, and what's weird about it was yes. that there was something... He was so pretty. Well, he's very pretty. He's a very pretty person. Very, like, everything was just like, like the alabaster. It was, everything was like pretty. But then it he had like, like braces. It was a weird grill. It was like, let me see your grill. Well, you want to see my what? Your, your, your grill. Like, I don't know. It was weird. But, well, but it was just like a weirdness that I was like, but I want to know more. But I don't, oh, don't tell me more. No, I don't want to know more. But just look pretty. Like, it was weird. I didn't know how I felt. I certainly wasn't bored. It was really weird. Let's just talk about, let's talk about them for a minute. What the fuck that scene was where they fall into the vat of acid? What did that mean? I don't know! What did it do to her? I don't know! I was so confused. They literally like swan dive. She jumps into a vat of acid. A vat of acid. Uh, but we, oh, but she can't swim. That's kind of oh, been established. Oh, that has been established later. But then later. she would be dead. I, it's very weird. So then he's like, ah, yes, and he dives in after her. And then they do like that. It was kind of like in Best of Me when he's like Christ floating her in the lake. And they're like floating, and then there's like a swirl of both color. The, the Their blue, clothing and his shirt and is like pink. disintegrating. And I was like, I really don't know what this means, guys. What's different? Did that make her crazy? I thought the like electroshock made her crazy. I thought the electroshock made her crazy too. But then also, I don't understand what this chemical I liquid is. What did she? How? How did she learn to fight? Uh, well, I want to know that. What's her superpower? But sexy? also sexy. But also, but she wasn't even like, I'm gonna mesmerize you and then punch you in the face. It wasn't even that. No, no. Like a she's just gonna whatever. swing bats at people. I didn't get it. Cause she's been gangster hardened by I don't know. I still don't understand. So their clothes were disintegrating. I guess But it their means... skin was okay, and they were like making out with this all over their face and eyes. It was real. And now they like in it's the... real sick. But like it's not it's hurting them, disgusting. just their clothing. It did it make her pale and like dye her hair? Maybe? Cause like, okay, so like in Batman, the Joker falls into a vat of acid and that's what makes his mouth deformed. Right. And so you're like, okay. But in this it just I guess it made them crazy? Like Together? Crazy in love? This is Beyonce. So I also Oh you know what? That should have been the song. See, that would have been the song underneath it. I mean I would have hated it, but that seems appropriate. I mean yes. Yep. Like that remix, like it would have been like a Fifty Shades like, of Grey remix. Got me looking so crazy, crazy right, right now. now. And then they're like swirling in a vat yeah. of acid as he like... She, no, it's like she slow-mo dies. Yeah. Got me looking so crazy And then he right his hand slow motion and then she pulls him out. <gasps> mm, it still would have sucked. Oh, it would have been terrible. So I also want to talk about her hair. Okay, so in the trailer... You see that it's like she's a blonde, mm -hmm. and then it's like a little blue and a little pink. So I was like, oh, she had full blue pink hair, but she's been in jail. They won't let her dye it, so it's like growing out. And that's like, oh, that's the t that's showing showing time passing, visually, cool. No, that's not what it was. She just had like an ombre, but then sometimes she didn't have an ombre. Like when they were in water and they didn't feel like digitally animating the blue and the green in her hair, and it was just blonde. Because it happened, and I noticed it, and I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? It wasn't okay. <laughs> and I don't understand why they thought that it was. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> oh, should we talk about Will Smith? Oh. He's like, his whole thing is like his daughter... Uh, I don't even care. I didn't care. It was stupid. I didn't care, like, I just didn't care about anyone in this movie, really. Actually, you know what? I cared about the sergeant lieutenant and his, like, okay. possessed girlfriend. I was literally just going to say that. I didn't care a lot. No. But I, I did think I would watch an Enchantress movie. I mean, by the end, I was like, yikesies. Because <laughs> like, it was Gods of Egypt. 
because it became Gods of Egypt. But I was like, I, I didn't know anything about the Enchantress. And I thought, ooh, this would be just like a good scary movie. Like a good horror movie where it's like, oh, you're in a cave, and you get possessed, and then like you get taken over by this thing, and then you're, 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 you're like dual personalities, you're like, oh no, what am I gonna do? But like you're in love with this guy, and he loves you, but then like the crazy lady takes over. I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That was, but, I, but what I just described was cooler than what happened. It wasn't <laughs> that cool though. It was like, oh boy. So, so yeah. Rick Flag, why is he part, just, did Viola Davis know that they were going to fall in love? It was very Apparently, like... Apparently, yes. It was very like, so I set them up. Now they're desperately in love with each other. I, I didn't know if it was the enchantress that enchanted him into being in love. Or no. she just knew they were going to be in love. And they fell madly in love. I think that's what was implied. We got to get them together. She's an archaeologist. I mean, match made in she's heaven. She's a possessed archaeologist. I would watch that movie. Though. I would too. Damn it. Oh. So anyway, so the enchantress and him. So it's the guy from the killing and the girl. Did you recognize the girl? No. So the whole movie, I was like, who the fuck is that? Who is that? Literally, the only thing I know her from is from the Paper Towns trailer. Because <laughs> they play that thing over and over and over. Remember with the eyebrows? No. Like, when I was just really bored in this movie, and like an hour and a half had passed, I was like, Paper Town! <laughs> of course! <laughs> but the Paper Towns trailer. They did not see the film. Rick Flagg should have been the lead of this film. You know what? He should have. He's the only actually good guy. Like, moral. Yeah, like, that's the point. He's like, oh my god, I'm trying to manage these villains. The only other person who was good? Not a good actor, but a moral person. Scott Eastwood, who shows up in this movie! I, kn I knew! I, I was like, who is this hot guy? Why does he look so familiar? You know why he was so hot? Because he said, like, three words. Exactly! He was but just, like, He was, there. like, in the sidelines looking real hot. He was, like, every time there was, like, a, a, a medium shot of Rick Flagg, he was, like, to the left and back, and he was just, like, hey. Yes! And he'd be like, you're hot, what's happening? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> so true! But like literally he has like three lines. Oh no, he doesn't speak. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so, uh, Rick Flagg's girlfriend yes. basically turns into a character from, from Gods of Egypt. Well, well at well, first she, she turns into the... She's the possessed the by ring. the girl from the ring, yes. who then, once she's given her voodoo heart back... Right. Turns into well, she breathes life into her brother, who becomes like Osiris, the Egyptian god. It's literally gods, like gods of Egypt. gods of Egypt like, he's level. Like metal, like weird swirly god. light CG. And then she has like a cape of energy. I don't know if you noticed this. Every time she's monologuing, she's like rumbaing. <laughs> yeah, you know she yeah, she does. She'd be like, "I'm gonna kill all of you. Don't worry about it. Come to me." And I was just like, "This is really weird." Yeah. It fell apart oh my God. on such a hard level. Like it was like this kind of makes nope negative sense. She has decided that since. People now worship machines, and she wants to be worshipped. She's gonna create a machine to destroy the planet. I thought it was just <laughs> people have lost their way, and they worship machines now instead of gods like her. So, so she's it was going the plot to kill of everyone. Apocalypse. It was the plot of X Men. Wait, it's which exactly also was like stupid. Gods of Egypt. I don't know what is with this like weird storyline like and then this ancient god is awoken and they try and destroy the world and we have to stop them with our superpowers and is Margot because... Robbie's bat? Literally. <laughs> is it because like we can't like the Russians aren't the villain anymore and like the Middle East, we can't, like, everyone's PC, we can't, like, pick a, like, a country or a, a villain, so, like, it has to be, like, ancient. Like, well, they're not real or alive anymore. Is that what's going on? I guess. We've gone full circle back to the mummy. Yeah. Also, I like... I feel like we've barely scratched the surface. 
Like, like honestly, though, like Jesus Christ, there's so much that went wrong with this movie. Well, it definitely, I mean, it 100% feels like some manic 48 hour edit like session where they were like, Jesus Christ, don't sleep, just edit, you know, like, and then maybe they brought in different editors for every like 12 hour shift. And so like the other editor was like, I don't know what they did. I'll just edit this. And then they were like, fuck. And then they just released it. Like it's, that's that's what that's what it seems like to me. <laughs> so El Diablo, played by Jay Hernandez, who I will forever remember as the guy from Crazy Beautiful. Um, so Jay Hernandez plays El Diablo, who can like shoot fire. And he's like, but um, also create a, a dancing lady out of fire. Oh God! Remember when he spelled the word "by" out of fire? And he's like, <laughs> spelled out the word "by." Is that what? It, <laughs> and I laughed so hard. I was like, "What's going on?" Okay. I'm not gonna use my powers, but I am going to show off my magic spelling. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he. He's like, I'm not going to use my powers because I killed my whole family and this is like my powers like I'm a pacifist of, now. of the devil or whatever. And then like he uses it anyway because duh. Then mm -hmm. at the end, Gerard Butler from Gods of Egypt is there. Yep. And like voodoo princess from hell is there. <laughs> slash from Paper Towns is there. Yep. And she's rumbaying. So she's like mind fucking them and she's like showing them. Like what they want. Their fantasy, yeah. right? And 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 El Diablo is like, no! And he's like, you're telling, you're like, you, you know, can't bring them back. The I dead. killed them. Yeah, like he's like, no. And she's like, how long have you been able to see? It's literally the only explanation we get. And then he turns into like a flaming Aztec with the feather. I don't know what the fuck happened. And he says in Spanish? No. It's on, bitch? <laughs> Did they really say that? They subtitled it! It said, it's on, bitch? Yes! I don't remember that! How could you forget it? <laughs> there was a lot of like weird lines like that where you're like, that what? was out of place. Like, Viola Davis makes the, makes the chick from Paper Towns like, call the Enchantress, right? And then she goes, Go get it, girl. disappears and comes back with like Iran's nuclear codes or something. But there was just so many mystery lines like that where I was like, this isn't all the editor's fault. Somebody wrote that down. Somebody wrote that. Subtitled that. Do you remember the Australian guy? Oh right. Like Captain Boomerang or whatever the his name was. <laughs> <laughs> he was like he was like low rent Tom Hardy. <laughs> right? So then they win? They fight them. Okay, so I don't, I, I don't understand. So somehow they explode. The well, it's like a, they like create like a, like a back like a black hole. What? Right? Right? <laughs> like, okay, okay. I'm gonna explain what I think happened. Okay, okay good. I'm excited for this. <laughs> okay, so like, El Diablo <laughs> turns into question mark Aztec god, attacks Gerard Butler from Gods of Egypt. Yep. Sets him on fire, then Scott Eastwood, killing himself, mm -hmm. explodes the floor beneath, mm -hmm. killing El Diablo and Gerard Butler from Gods of Egypt. Yep. Then they're like, oh shit, we have to kill Rumba Paper Towns Lady. And what I thought was going to happen was Brick Flag was going to give an emotional speech and be like, come back to me, June. Mm. <gasps> Which would have kind of been great. would overpower her. Yeah, it, like, it would have been, like, been like the end of X-Men uh, Last Stand, which was not great. But, you know, same idea. Better execution, possibly? We'll see. I mean, we won't because this movie happened. But anyway, yeah. then they have a, another bomb that they throw into her vortex. Yes. And she tries to go in Will Smith's mind and be like, don't do it, daddy. And it was like really stupid. And I was like, no, Will Smith is not your character. They needed Rick Flagg to be like, June, please come out. Like you can overpower her. I believe in you. It didn't yeah. happen. No. And then he shoots the bomb mm -hmm. in the vortex and then it all like, like collects 
and stops destroying right. the planet, so they created like a black hole? That was what I thought happened. I get that, I get that, I get that. Yeah, what yeah, did yeah. you think happened? Well, no, 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 that, that, that's what happened. I mean, that, that is what happened. <laughs> Oh, but then she was still alive. Well, she was so weakened by that, I think. And maybe right. because her heart was still in the... I don't know. No, because then Rick Flagg is, like, holding it, and he, like, crushes it. Right. Like, oh, and he thinks she died, but then she didn't die because this movie has no consequences. I mean, really, though, like, no consequences. Like, everyone's... I mean... Well, they and they tried to do this thing of, like, Harley Quinn kept being like, we're bad, let's just be bad. And I was like, yeah. That'd be a cool movie. Yeah. But it was like, no, we have to, like, be friends. Like, every time towards the end of the movie, they'd be like, but you're my friends. And they'd be like, don't, this is my family. Like, it turned into Fast and the Furious. We were like, don't fuck with my family. And I'm like, you guys have been hanging out for, like, an afternoon. What's well, going on? The entire second act where they train, become friends, like, learn how to work together was missing. Oh, I was going to say, where did they train? That's what I'm saying. Like... <laughs> No, I um, wanted the fucking training montage yeah. where, you know what this movie needed? Yeah. This movie needed to basically copy the script of In the Army Now. Oh my god. I kind of love that movie. When it's like, the geese are flying in the east. <laughs> I say again, the geese are migrating south. <laughs> Some dude's calling about the geese are flying in the east. He's like, I don't know. <sighs> no, but you know what I mean? Yes. Like where it's like a bunch of like people that would never be Never be it's not that hard. Like no. this movie has been made eight hundred times, so exactly. why is this so, so fucked? This movie failed at every cliche. Lockhart or whatever the main guy's name is. who's the, the comrade the com <laughs> The Commodore? Who now? Who? I'm losing that. The Colonel? The Colonel. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Flag. Rick Flag. Flag. Oh my god. So then, Rick Flagg would have been the good guy, right? Which he is. So he would have been our protagonist, he would have been the one that's leading yeah. the charge yeah. and showing this ragtag group of criminals yeah. that by working together and finding a greater purpose, they can help save the world and enrich their own lives and get what they want. Oh, it's the great escape. It's every movie ever! Like, Rick Flagg needed to be the protagonist? who then he gets betrayed by Viola Davis, he believes in her, he thinks she's good, and then he, oh, she's evil the whole time, oh my god, you know, and then maybe he has to kill her, I don't know, I don't know. Missed opportunities. So many missed opportunities. I need to talk about, okay, so the end of the movie, they've destroyed the vortex. Oh god. Viola Davis is alive. I know where you're going. They all, I hope you do, they all go back to jail. They're all back in their cells. They cut to Harley Quinn, she's in her thing. <gasps> People break in. Oh, it's the SWAT team. And you're like, oh, I know where this is going. Cause duh. And then a SWAT guy breaks open the cage and his vest says Joker on it. And then there's a shot where he's like, ha ha, I'm the Joker. And I was like, yeah, duh, your vest says Joker on it. Where's the scene where he had that custom ordered? What's, what's going on? Why? Also, Why did that happen? Also, how is he still alive? Who the fuck cares? He's the Joker. Why did he have a SWAT vest that said Joker on it? It might as well have said the Joker. Ha ha. Like, it was just so... I was just pissed that the whole thing happened. The, the back in jail? The whole movie. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> but, but yes, also that they were back in jail. And also that the Joker then came and like rescued her from jail. Because he's alive. And still looks pristine. Maybe After his helicopter crash into a fiery ball. Maybe he went back in his ass and bath jacuzzi and just like <laughs> got replenished. It was like a chemical peel. Oh, God. <laughs> Enough is enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> Slow it the fuck down. Yeah. And Slow make good role. movies. I, I Take really, the time to like really because, have development of a good script, please. Well, this movie's terrible. This movie is terrible. But like not even fun. I'll rephrase. It was pretty fun, but not like I don't think I'd want to rewatch it for fun. Maybe. Maybe if it played a drinking game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure yet what that drinking game is, mm -hmm. except for maybe you take six shots and then watch the movie. 
And if you're alive at the no, end, no, just congratulations. Just drink every time they introduce someone. <laughs> there you go. And then you'll have a good buzz for the rest for of the, the movie. Whole, and then you'll just be like wasted. I just want to know how much less sense could the director's cut have made that they felt that this, this was what they happen? needed. That's what I don't get. And then they just fucking killed it because that's what these people do. Yeah. They don't have any sense of subtlety or taste or restraint.